Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, we're going to make vintage envelopes. But first, let's have a shout out to Esty Marie Arts, Leanne, Lala Gamma, Marlene, Kelly, Hilda, Dorothy, Stacy, and Julie. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys, my hands are a little stained up, so never you mind about that. We're just going to start crafting here. So I have done some coffee dyed paper dyeing today. And I have cut this piece of coffee dyed paper to be eight and a half by eight and a half. Now you can do this with any size paper that you want. You can even use printed paper if you want, but it turns out much better if it's a plain piece of paper. So you could do a four by four, eight by eight. This one's an eight and a half by eight and a half, like any size that you want, as long as it's a square. So we're going to put corner to corner down here. I'm using my lines on my grid right here. And I'm just going to line up my points and I am going to use my ruler and I'm lightly going to make a line right there in the center. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to line the po points up again and I'm going to once again make another line. So what I will end up with is a little X. Uh, yeah, you can see that X very lightly. So now I'm going to take one of my points and I'm going to put it right where the lines intersect and I'm going to crease, turn it. I'm going to go completely opposite. I'm going to put tip to tip right there and I'm going to crease just like that. Now I am going to remove my lines. I don't want those to stay in there. All right. Now I'm going to pull up the bottom and turn it on its side. Now I'm going to lay this point right here and this point right here on another grid line. Then I'm going to focus back down here on the end and I am going to fold right here at this point and this point the same. I'm going to have those points be on the exact same line as each other so that it's even. All right, so I'm going to crease that. And I've folded it up about three fourths of the way up. Now I'm going to focus on this part. And I am not going to fold it quite as much. I've got to put my end of my envelope right here on a line. Hold it firmly so it doesn't get off that line. And I'm going to fold this about a half an inch. So it's folded down a half an inch. So this is folded down a lot less right here than the bottom is. The bottom's a bigger fold. Now I'm going to open this up and I'm going to trim out my corners. And you can see, because we folded it, you can see where those lines are. And I'm going to trim out this tie shape right here. I'm going to do it right here as well. And I'm going to do it over here. Just like this. I think I need a little bit more right there. Now I'm going to do it right here, and then over here. Oh, won't let go yet. A little bit more. There. All right. So now I've got my little corners uh, removed of the bulk out of my corners. So this is going to be my my part that I'm going to decorate right here. But before I do that, I'm going to turn it over, back over, and right here where the bottom is, where we've taken out more, we folded it up higher, so we took out more, I'm going to go ahead and fold my point up just a bit. Uh, let's see, how much is it? It's kind of hard to say. It's about an inch. And then 
that's where it's going to fold like that and it's going to look more like an envelope that you buy at the store going back to the front I'm going to open this up like here and like I said right here is where we're going to decorate and I have some stamps I have a beautiful rose stamp right here and I'm going to get my little plexiglass actually it's my medium sized plexiglass and I'm going to place my rose on here I'm going to get my stays on black I'm going to take the lid off I'm going to ink up my rose right here and I'm going to place it right down here towards the bottom just like that oh that is so beautiful isn't it now I am actually going to at this point in time I'm going to fold it up just a little bit because I want another one oh, about right here and I didn't want it to go over the edge I wanted it to be like that now I'm going to do another one and I want to get just a partial of one right up here like this. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, so I'm thinking I want one more right down here and right there. All right, so now this is how we look. I'm going to take off this flower stamp and I'm going to grab my paragraph. This is my paragraph stamp. And I'm going to put my stays on black ink, fill up my paragraph stamp, and I'm going to stamp it right here for my address. So that's my address of where it's going. And I'm going to put just a little bit more, fold this down, and I'm going to put just a little bit right up here that's my return address okay so I'm going to take this and set that aside I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to bring in my little leaf I think it's this way stampin up is what it says my little leaf stamp but I think I want my leaf stamp to have the stem down I'm just going to stamp it right here. That's going to be like my, my stamp. <laughs> my stamp's going to be my stamp. And then I'm going to bring in the postage stamp and put it right over it like that. And then I'm going to bring in the, the lines that mark that you've used that stamp. And I'm just going to kind of do a couple. So now we look like that. All right. So I'm going to put my lid back on my stays on. And I'm going to move my stamps over here so I have a little bit more room. And I'm going to bring in some colored pencils. And they're just Crayola brand colored pencils. Nothing special. They were very inexpensive. I kind of wanted my pink and it looks like I've grabbed my orange. So... I want a red because there we go here's a red so this one is red this one is orange yellow and green okay I probably don't need the yellow and green I'm just going to lightly right where the the stamp has some darker lines I'm just going to add a little bit of color just a tiny bit not a lot just a tiny bit so I'm just going to lightly not coloring the whole thing I'm just adding a little bit of color onto the stamp just to give it a little you know interest I think it would be very pretty just a little bit here I'll pick it up so you can see what it looks like we're almost finished here just adding a little bit of color just like that isn't that sweet that's very sweet now the green I guess I do need the green because I'm going to make my leaf green 
So I'm just going to do just like that, just very lightly. I'm not doing it dark at all. I'm not like coloring it like this. I'm just lightly just brushing it on. Set that aside. So now this is what we look like. All right. So next what I want to do is I want to bring in my vintage photo and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink my edges and I'm going to kind of ink it heavily in the corners and on the edges, the points, and kind of bring it in to the paper just a little bit, just to give it that vintage old look. So it's maybe an older letter that was written. So something like that. And I want to do the same thing on these edges. I'm just kind of bringing it in maybe a little more than I normally would. And I'm showing you this because I'm doing it different than just inking the edges. I'm actually bringing it in just a little bit more and giving it a little more depth and a little more of that vintage flair. So there we are. I think I did all of them, yes. Now I need to do, this one's the top, so I need to do the inside right here. Because when you open the envelope, you'll be able to see the inside. Like that. Okay. So, we get this all glued up. It'll be like this. Now, let's go ahead and let's glue this point down. So I'm going to add my Tombow glue. I'm going to add my glue to this point, part because when you fold it up, if you, if you glue this part, you're probably going to end up possibly sticking your envelope, glue, gluing your envelope closed because you really don't need glue on this part, on this part right here. You don't need glue there. So I like to just put glue on this part and that way I don't run the risk of gluing my envelope closed. So I'm just going to close it just like that. There we go. Yeah, I like that very much. The next thing I want to do is I have made kind of a little slurry using this Martha Stewart Crafts. You can use any brand that you want. This just happens to say that. That just happens to what I have. Multi-surface metallic. Okay, and this is rose gold. Okay, then let me bring in my little brush here. I'm going to get this. I need to probably get. Here we are. Wipe this off. This is called a fan brush, and this is the type of brush that you will need to do what I'm going to do next. Okay, a regular paint brush. I've never been able to get it to do the splatter. But this fan brush, I can get it to, to do that. So I'm going to dip it into my slurry, and I've added water to this. And I, there's more paint than water. You just have to make it so it's kind of a, you know, it's got enough color to it, but it's still, it's still watery-like. And I always like to do my first one right there and then move it over because I don't want super big splatters. I want small splatters. Like that. Now, let me pick this up for you to see. That looks very, very vintage. Now let me show you some that I've already dried because that was is very wet and I'm not going to be able to do anything with it until it does dry. But here's another one. 
it's very, this one I stamped over on the edge. I didn't fold it in like I folded the last one in, but you can see the splatters on it. Here's one here. It has a totally different stamp. It's not as dark. It just looks like that. That's another thing that I did to these that I have to wait till that other one dries. Is I took some gold and I went around the edge on the envelope. I don't care. You can see that. I went around the edge of the envelope. And I have one more. And it's this one. I just think they're super cool. I think they would be beautiful if you sewed them into a signature, took a paper clip, and paper, paper clipped it onto a page, placed it in a belly band or a pocket. They're very versatile. You could send them out as happy mail. Just don't put this part here or this part and write your own. And of course, put a stamp. <laughs> But anyway, you guys, I just love these. I thought you would enjoy it too. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.